Today, I'm going to be sharing with you some Down syndrome facts regarding how someone gets this whole health problem, as well as some things someone can do to prevent it. Now, before I get started, down below, I am giving away a free video-based guide all about uh, dietary supplements and alternative medicines. Now, isn't it interesting how some people look just like their parents? There's some traits that are similar. Uh, the reason for this is genetics. Uh, genes are the blueprints for life, and uh, a person gets them through their, their parents. This is also the reason why if you see a doctor uh, for a medical problem, you might you probably will be asked about family history of certain health problems and ailments. Because if your parents have a health problem, they kind of raises the, the chance or risk of you getting the same one. Now, genes are really a part of something called DNA, which make up chromosomes. And when someone has Down syndrome, what that means is they have an extra chromosome. And this creates really all kinds of problems. Uh, for example, half of babies with this ailment um, have heart defects. And there's just tons of problems. They're more likely to get infections uh, with breathing. Infections last longer is an example of one. A, a few more ideas and health problems would be like uh, learning, growth. takes uh, kids with uh, Down syndrome much longer to learn how to walk. Uh, the good news is that humans have, we've gotten much, much better at treating this disease. Uh, and we're so awesome because we, we've gotten so good at treating so many diseases out there. Uh, like HIV. I mean, God, we can do some amazing things with HIV, not to get off topic too much. But some really, really cool things. And just like with Down syndrome, 30 years ago, the average life expectancy of somebody with Down syndrome uh, was you know, around 25 years of age. Now is it. And, and now it's like 60 which is great. And more good news is there are some things can someone can do to prevent um, you know, having a baby with Down syndrome. See, there are certain things someone needs that are vital for life. Do you have any idea where I'm going with this is, that what I'm talking about? <laughs> well, a person needs vitamins and minerals, right, to operate correctly. And if they're missing some of these, it's not going to be good. And uh, when it comes to pregnancy, there's one vitamin that's crucial. It's very, very important. Do you have any idea which one of that is? It starts from the F, like Frank. It's in some cereals. Well, it's folic acid, or vitamin B9. In fact, if a woman is deficient in folic acid, it can increase the chance of her giving birth to a baby with a neural tube defect by around 70%. And a, a neural tube defect is when parts of a, a baby's skull or spine are exposed to the world and pretty much always results in the death of a baby. Also, you might be thinking, well, you know, I'll just, you know, as soon, as soon as someone finds out they're pregnant, they just kind of sure they're taking folic acid, right? Well, sadly, that's not the case. Before someone even knows they're pregnant, they really need to have ample, you know, good levels of folic acid. So you, you can't, someone can't wait until they find out they're pregnant to get folic acid so they can prevent a neural tube defect. Not how it works. Now this is all linked to Down syndrome. For example, a, a study published in a publication, the, Lance, the Lancet, found that women who are, who are at risk of giving birth to a baby with a neural tube defect were five times likely to give birth to a baby uh, with Down syndrome. So there's a big connection there. Now apart from folic acid, I mean come on, there's tons of other vitamins and nutrients that are needed um, and they have to do with just basic health of somebody and development and this is really why someone really should consider a good multivitamin supplement now before you go out there and start buying a bunch of supplements uh, a, there's a couple of things you need to know about them for one you don't want to get the, you don't want synthetic vitamins okay uh, there, a lot of them are synthetic and your body does not recognize them the same way as it do um, you know other other vitamins out there and I remember watching the Dr. Oz episode I think it was last year maybe the year before that but they had the, the CEO of Consumer Labs on very prestigious organization and they tested all the top supplement brands out there and what they realized was starting like 70 percent of them 70 70 70 percent of them had some type of uh, defect like a uh, um, mislabeling so some harmful contaminations inside of them or something like that so don't think just because it has a, a fancy label, you know, a, a reputable store selling it, that sh it should be good, right? That's not the case. You know, nobody really checks to ensure these products are safe before they're sold. That's not how it works. It's unregulated in so many countries like that. Now, be, to better protect yourself, like I talked about, I did create this whole video guide 
all about shopping for supplements. It goes over things on like what to look for in a supplement, uh, some things to avoid, common ingredients or, or found health products that you should avoid, which is a great thing to know. Some great ideas on that. Um, it also gives you some great ideas and thoughts when it comes to alternative medicine uh, that can only save you some money, but can do some really awesome stuff to your health. And also, it's completely free. It, it's, a, it's a ton of fun. Uh, at least I thought it was fun when I made it. I had a blast. So I'm sure you're going to love it. And to learn more, all you gotta do is click on the link uh, below the video I made for you. Um, I really appreciate you investing your time into watching this. I hope it might have been helpful. Uh, please leave a comment with any thoughts about Down syndrome, what your experience with it is, you know, just your thoughts about this video would be great. And if you do like the video, then uh, you know, give me the, give me a thumbs up. I really, really appreciate that. So thank you so much, and have an awesome, super cool, great rest of your day. Bye.